Thanks for tuning in. I'm Tim Von D. Let's water cool a CPU. The H55 is a closed loop system. It consists of the radiator, a fan, all the mounting hardware, and the water block. And what it is, it's, it's a completely filled closed loop water cooling system that's filled to the brim bled of any air and the, the pump and everything everything you need to water cool is in this one unit all right um what you're going to want to do is find all the mounting hardware according to your instructions for the socket and the type of cpu you're using get it all together and uh what you're going to want to do is start assembling it like this you put these uh feet inside of inside of the mounting hardware which re retains your screws so it holds your screws in place just like that and that would be a complete completed unit ready to fit on top of the water block here's your back plate which goes on the back of the motherboard and that's what your screws and your mounting uh, your block mount is actually going to screw into because this is a, a whole new uh, socket uh, re retaining system now versus the old the old AM3 Plus with the clamps and you put the clamps on and then you tighten the lever for the stock heat sink. This completely uh, converts that to this new system and this back plate just goes on as simple. I mean double sided tape so you don't have to worry about holding it in place. It does it for you. And we're ready. Here we go. Um, uninstalling the existing AM3 uh, socket the bracket the mounting bracket you just unscrew four screws it comes out super easy now the fan and the in the radiator installation it, it's it's very easy it's it's straightforward you run your your four bolts into there with the washer supplied you run your fan through all of that and then the radiator right onto the fan you screw them in. It, it is pretty easy. You just want to make sure you don't damage any of the fins. The fins are are what actually cools the water in the in the radiator. You put the the mounting bracket down a half a turn on each one, so it's got some slack. You have to pull up on it because that this water block is going to have to go in there, rotate, have enough room to rotate, and then be able to tighten it all down. So I mean, it, it's quite a mess. I mean, as you can see, I sped this up because it, it took quite a while just to get it in there and get the, the mounting bracket up high enough to where I could rotate the water block until it's sit and set in place and then screw in all of your mounting screws in a cross pattern, X pattern, in, in light increments. Don't over tighten. Just you know, do a, a couple turns or or a, one full turn each time, and until it all goes down and tightens at the same time, and it'll help evenly distribute your thermal paste. Then you plug in your your pump that comes right off the water block into your CPU fan. Then you plug up your your fan that's on your radiator into a, a fan header, and you're you're ready to go. You're water cooled. All right. In the instructions, they didn't show anything about um, this new piece. This is a a ring, a retention ring, and it's supposed to aid in in the installation. I didn't do it, but I've seen other people make videos of it, and it seemed a lot easier. Here's the the actual block, the part that holds down the block with the screws on it. You drop the CPU in it, twist, bring it up so it clicks into the the tangs, the grab, uh, the, the grips, the grabbers. And then what you want to do is you want to run your ring on the bottom. It snaps in place. Your CPU is locked into this. Uh, the CPU block is locked into this, um, this whole thing as one unit. So then what you do is when you're ready to install, you drop it right down, tighten each screw instead of all the fumbling that I had to, that I had to deal with. In conclusion, this water cooling block, it's it's really cheap. I, I picked it up at Best Buy for 55 bucks, and the temps, you know, they they speak for themselves. So I mean, the price range is not out of out of reach for the budget builds. I definitely recommend going with 
with a, a Corsair unit like this. I mean, but there are others. You got uh, Cooler Master, Ace Tech. I mean, there's all kinds of, of water systems you could use that are all in one closed loop. And I really do think it's the way to go. I haven't had any experience with the high performance air coolers. So I don't, I don't know uh, in range of performance if if like the uh, Noctua, the, the I forget what it's called, the something 14, it, it may do the same temps as this block versus like H100 or something where you'd really get your performance. But uh, I mean, you know, $55, you can't beat it. You're water cooled. Uh, the temps seemed a lot more stable. They don't fluctuate so much. They they rise and fall in, in very... Uh, even increments so it's not like it's rambling all over the place all right guys thanks for tuning in i hope you had a great time water cooling your cpu i'm tim bundy because my paint still dripping like a morphine stream